Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to see how to configure Mosquito MQTT bridge with TLS or SSL. We can see this setup in front of us where two brokers that is broker 1 and broker 2 are forming the bridge. Broker 1 is communicating with the broker 2 over the secure communication link. Now you can see broker 1 is a bridge broker where the bridge is implemented. Broker 2 is a simple broker on which the TLS SSL encryption has been implemented. Broker 1 can be addressed over the localhost and Broker 2 can be addressed over IP 192.168.1.100. Broker 1 is listening to the port 1883 that is insecure port and Broker 2 is listening to the port 8883 that is secure port client A is addressing broker 1 and client B is addressing broker 2 here the topic is topic hash both 0 that means any topic which can be published from the broker 1 to broker 2 or any topic which broker 1 is going to receive from the broker 2 if you want to know how to create the mosquito MQTT bridge then watch this video on this channel. At the same time if you want to know how to implement the TLS SSL on the mosquito MQTT broker then you can watch this video on this channel. Links for both the videos are given in the description. So now let us try to implement the mosquito MQTT bridge with TLS SSL encryption. First thing we need to do is to modify the configuration files. These are the configuration files for the brokers. Test.configuration file is for the broker 2 where the PLS SSL encryption has been implemented and test underscore br.config file it is for the broker 1 which is acting as a bridge. So let us open the test.config file. This is the broker2 configuration file where you can see the broker2 is listening to the port 3883 which is a secure port. The anonymous connections are allowed over here that is why setting is true. So here you can see the CA file, key file and certificate file which are required for the TLS or SSL encryption. I have already generated this ca.crt server.key and the server.crt and these files are stored over here in the search folder so we will be needing these three files that is ca.crt server.crt and server.key and here is the path for this file this is the same path which is shown over here in the configuration file tls version implemented is uh, tls version 1.2 after entering this information you can save this test.config file. Let us open the second configuration file that is test underscore br.config file which is uh, for broker1 where the bridge is implemented. So this broker1 is going to listen to the port 1883. Anonymous connections are allowed over here. TLS version uses TLS 1.2 and it is going to communicate with the broker2. IP address of the broker 2 is given over here that is 192.168.1.100 and port used is 3883 which is a secure port. We are going to use the topic that is topic hash both 0 which has been explained earlier. So now here the certification file has been mentioned along with the path. So now this broker 1 is going to act as the client for the broker 2 communication will be an encrypted communication after entering this information let us save this file now we are ready to test our mosquito mqtt breach with the tls ssl encryption so let us open the terminals so these are the four terminals which we are going to use terminal 1 will be used for the broker 2 terminal 2 will be used for the broker 1 Terminal 3 and 4 will be used for the subscriber and the publisher clients. So let us start the broker 2 in the terminal 1. So this is the configuration file and this is the path where the configuration file is stored. So let us run this command. So our broker 2 
has started and it is listening to the port 3883. So we will run our broker 1 in the terminal 2 by using this command. We are using this uh, configuration file that is test underscore br dot conf. So let us run this command. Now you can see broker 1 has started working and it has got connected with the broker 2 and the communication will be encrypted communication between these two brokers. So secure breach has been established between these two brokers. Now let us test the communication. First we will run the subscribe client from the port terminal by using this command. So this is the command for the subscriber client where you can see the host is 192.168.1.100 which is the IP address of this broker 2. So this subscriber client will address the broker 2. Topic used will be test and the port used will be 3883 which is the secure port and here the CA file has been mentioned along with its path. So we will run this command. Now you can see the subscriber has connected with the broker 2 over the secure channel. So we will publish the message from the terminal 3 by using the command mosquito underscore pub. Host will be localhost that is the broker 1 and the communication port will be 183. Topic used will be test and the message is hello. So let us run this command. Now you can see the publisher client has published the message to the broker 1 and broker 1 has forwarded this message to broker 2 and from broker 2 the subscriber client has received this message hello so let us do the reverse communication so we are going to publish the message from the terminal 4 by using the command mosquito underscore pub we will be addressing the broker 2 so that is why the IP address has been mentioned over here that is 192.168.1.100 topic is test port use is secure port that is 3883 message to be published is rev hello here the certification file has been mentioned as it is a secured communication so from terminal 3 we are going to run the subscriber client which is going to address the broker 1 over the local host port use is 1883 the topic is test so let us run the subscriber client first so now our subscriber is running now let us publish the message from the terminal 4 by using the command mosquito underscore pub over the topic test so run this command now you can see from the from the terminal 4 the message has been published to the broker 2 from broker 2 the message has been forwarded over the test topic to the broker 1 and from broker 1 the message has been forwarded to the subscriber client and, and you have got here rev hello message on the subscriber client terminal so we have successfully done the communication over the encrypted mosquito mqtt breach in this video we have seen how to configure the mosquito mqtt breach with tls ssl encryption that's it for today thanks for watching the video if you like this video then please hit the like button please share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to this channel thanks again and have a good time